Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video on we are having another ribbon that is of tools. In under that we are having different options available. So we will be watching one by one what are their functionalities. And in this video, this is just an introductory video of this tool section. I'm planning to have a detailed video on all these topics uh, inside this in, into some other session. So let's get started with the video for now. Here we are having four options which what we can see is first one is step under step diagnostic there is diagnose step another is session diagnostic and we are having start diagnostic and stop diagnostic under that and third option is of diagnostic option so let's start by having a fact uh, table or query we can say in uh, in this fact query first we will see how this diagnose step will work so this this step diagnostic and scissor diagnostic are nothing but the uh, different types of diagnostics available in this whole uh, power query and this is very advanced topic in which we are this di whole diagnostic purpose is just to analyze where our time consumption is more in whole of the transformation process so whatever query we, it will be we will be transforming or whatever data set we will be dealing up with and whatever steps we will be applying all those steps will be having some time duration consumed by it so all those time duration and where our time is going and where our time is getting consumed all those details this diagnostic whole functionality uh, it just analyze those things and we it just gives in front of number in, uh, to us in a table format so that's the basic operation of this whole diagnostic so these are categorized into two first one is step diagnostic and another is session diagnostic step diagnostic is nothing but suppose in this whole query we are having one applied step that is of add index and if we want to have uh, diagnosis of only this particular step that is added index we can have diagnostic step over there and then diagnose step so uh, after uh, on click of this option only this particular step will be diagnosed in that scenario and when we we are, we are clicking on start diagnostic we are having wide range of flexibility to diagnose whatever n number of steps uh, right from beginning whenever we click on a start diagnostic and then whatever steps we will apply it will keep a track of it if we, it will start recording those steps and then at last whenever you will click on a stop diagnostic after execution of all those steps whatever you did after that you will click on stop diagnostic then it will give you full detailed information of all those steps that what uh, in on those steps uh, what was the time consumption of at at what level so everything it will co uh, cover in it in detail now coming to this third section that is of diagnostic option it is nothing but we are having variety of diagnostic option available uh, when we will click over it so we can see that it is showing us that diagnostic option what all to enable then crash dump collection uh, and then query diagnostic what, what what thing we want to have then diagnostic level what all the level we want to have uh, we want to continue so right now it's aggregated and detailed level we are going through it so aggregate and detail we will be watching once we will diagnose one of the step then definitely it will come up with those, these two levels we will be explaining that how it works in that scenario so let's first diagnose this particular in added index suppose we are having so let's diagnose this step by having this diagnose step on click of it you will see that there will be a new group of query will be created in which two added tables are there that is fact added index uh, added index detail added index is nothing but our step applied whatever step was applied is added index so here we are having two tables in front of us so that is nothing but whatever we saw into this diagnostic option that was diagnostic level so uh, you can see here let me once click again we are having this aggregated at detail correct so first one is the detailed one 
another one is the aggregated one now the question comes what is the difference between both so aggregated is nothing but the summary of whole diagnosis process and detailed one is the step by step elaboration means uh, uh, whatever whatever a step explanation whatever detailed ex step execution as are there on 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 top of which whatever the time consumption will be there so that will be uh, diagnosed at this detailed level so let me click over the is it and then show you so here we can see that this whole id id is nothing but we are having this one as the uh, as we have only encountered with the one step of the transformation so it uh, id is starting from one and suppose if we would have gone through a start diagnostic option we would have seen that if we will apply second step after clicking of a start diagnostic then it will come as two point something so like this id is getting categorized so here we are having multiple columns we can see over here so it is uh, not possible right now that we should explain all these column uh, columns that what it's uses i will definitely leave a link below into the description box so that you can go through the documentation i will uh, uh, leave the link of the uh, documentation itself so that you can go through each of the functionality that what all these columns are uh, you, uh, means there for and what are their uses so you can uh, definitely go over it and then read out through so this is right now what we are seeing is the detailed one in which we are having approximately 15 steps that means 15 transformation uh, transformation not but the 15 detailed step through which all this process of adding index is getting executed and each of the level what we can see that what the time consumption it is over it is it is given in exclusive duration so how many percentage it has been consumed in each of those steps and exclusive duration in means of duration that means uh, days hour minute and then second it is giving you so this is whole about this detailed one and the aggregated you can see that it is the top level view of this aggregated one uh, sorry detailed one so we are having only eight steps over there that means it's eight or top level uh, steps are getting applied in whole of this uh, adding index transformation basically so we are having again all those uh, columns of level and for the, all those columns and the uses of all those columns i will again with that link i will be leaving in the description box so that you can go and read out through let me now uh, th these are the thing and here also uh, you can see that we are having exclusive duration and then ex exclusive duration in percent and then exclusive duration in uh, uh, days min uh, hour minute and then second so you can explore all this let me go through the another option that is of a start diagnostic so for now for, uh, uh, so that it should not create any confusion let me delete this whole group only yeah so on this start diagnostic i'm clicking over it now it has started its diagnosis whatever steps now we will apply all those steps will be recorded by power query and then all those steps will be analyzed and diagnosed so that it can give you that halt what all time consumption were involved in all of those steps so suppose we are having this order id first step what i will apply is i will just um, go to home ribbon and then a split column a split column by having delimiter suppose so dash is we are having dash as a delimiter here clicking on ok so you can see that all those have been uh, bifurcated and splitted and the applied step this is just for demonstration purpose so i have did so and we can see that change type 2 it is over there a split column by delimiter and automatically it executed another step as well change type 2 now in this zip uh, uh, date or we may say that we are having suppose segment correct so in this segment if suppose we are grouping it so that i am just uh, going with 
two of the applied steps so that it will be crystal clear for you guys that how this step diagnostic uh, means uh, recording of this diagnostic is working uh, so segment is there and then count we will have will be having uh, count rows clicking on ok we can see that we are having these three segments under which the counts are these many numbers so we will again go back to tools now we have applied all those steps now i'm stopping the diagnostic let's see what it generates so we can see here that we are having uh, uh two means three three query generated in front of us one is for the counters the diagnostic counter okay and then the diagnostic detailed and then aggregated so in in detailed if we are going we can see that we are having id as right from starting from we are having different ids in front of us under which we are having different applied steps over which we are having this exclusive duration as percent and then uh, date time format this is the top, um, detailed view of it now going to this uh, diagnostic aggregated in this aggregated we are having top level view of this so you can definitely explore all these whatever columns we are having id query step that what all values it may contain and what its use is after that you can go ahead and then can understand that how our uh, whole query is getting executed under what all processes and what process is consuming what how many number of uh, duration so all these uh, things will be clear to you once you will go through the that uh, um, link in the description that is of uh, documentation so definitely you can go through it and then read out throughout so that was all whole about this uh, uh, session and hope you uh, it was helpful to you and any confusion let me know into the comment section thank you so much for watching the videos keep liking keep subscribing the, the channel thank you so much once again